The aftermath of Tropical Storm Brett is at this time being debated in the House of Representatives. Opposition leader Kamla Pasad Bisesa had earlier moved a motion seeking leave to have the impact of the storm debated as a definite matter of urgent public importance. She said the government had failed to prepare for the flooding, destruction, devastation and damage that was inflicted on the population by Tropical Storm Brett. She said a minuscule amount allocated for the 2015-2016 budget had been spent on drainage weaks. Flooded out all El Carmen and all those areas. This would have helped, but what happened? Out of the 25 million allocated in 2016, 7% of that. What? 7%. And then we want to cry that we've done all this work and there's an ongoing program and whatever it is that's happened. While she thanked the UNC MPs and corporate sponsors for their assistance and donations to the flood victims, Mrs. Passat Bisesa lamented that the government's help was slow in coming. Bottom line was not a single grant has been given out. That is the bottom line. And today we are into the fourth day. And it reminds me of what the government from 2015 has been saying. They're reviewing and they're auditing. They're still reviewing and assessing. So when you are there, you're on the ground, as I said, disaster tourism, you're coming with the cameras, you're taking the pictures, but you have nothing to give. And Transport Rohan Sinanon, in response to statements made by the opposition leader, said if box drains alone could have solved the problems, then there would be no flooding in the constituency of Separia. In Separia alone, the pure program for the five years spent 454 million. Uh -huh. $599,000. And if you compare that to Dego Martin West, over the five-year period, it was $38 million. So, Quoting statistics, the minister aid rainfall over the 30-year average for June was 350 millimeters, and on Monday night alone, 156 millimeters of rainfall was recorded. However, he assured that preparations made by the Ministry of Works prevented communities from being totally cut off. I don't think a baku could go and take out water. And I, I think what, what we are accustomed in seeing in Trinidad is contractors mobilizing equipment, running up and down, MPs with tall boots running up and down and hampers giving out. That have gone on in this country for too long. What, what we need is to bring some sort of relief. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, in his contribution to the definite matter of public importance on the government's lack of response to victims of Tropical Storm Brett, said he made no apologies for being in Tobago last weekend. The member for Karani East, or whoever it is there, and his partner from Orapooch, they won the golf course too. <laughs> I don't know what say I don't know. Let me, let, me, let me tell you all something. I have to make no apologies to any of you for being in Tobago. I have a house in Tobago and I live in Tobago. The Prime Minister said he had been monitoring news of the storm throughout the night and made his way to the flood hit communities in South Trinidad as soon as it was possible. By five o'clock on Tuesday morning, the storm warning had been discontinued. And we now came out to see what has happened. That was Tuesday morning at 5 o'clock. By Wednesday after lunch, I was in Orapooch. I don't know if the, prim, the, the minister, the member for Separo was missing me so much. Had I known I'd asleep down there? Had I known she was missing me so much, I would have gone down there. But I have no, I have no house in Separo.